What is going on everybody? It is Treeb from Treeb Talks here and today we are going to be talking about maybe my hottest take so far in the 2019 offseason. We are going to be talking about the Jacksonville Jaguars starting defense heading into 2019 and I'm going to tell you why this 2019 defense is going to be better than the 2017 defense. Yes, I said it, and I truly, truly believe it, and I will be giving you reasons why in this video. And if you disagree, let's have a fair discussion in the comment section down below and talk about why you think that the Jaguars defense will not be as good as the 2017 season. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, this is why the Jaguars 2019 defense will be better than the 2017 defense. And before we hop into this video, I just want to thank every single last one of you for helping me hit over 900 subscribers, ladies and gentlemen. We are now less than 100 subscribers away from hitting my goal of 1,000 subscribers. We're about to be getting monetized up in this bitch, so make sure, if you haven't already, if you're a little on the fence about it, please do hit that subscribe button, click the bell icon so you get notified every single time I drop a new video. So now, ladies and gentlemen, let us get into the video. One to go up top, dumps it off, cross the middle, for that. What is going on, everybody? What is going on, everybody? What is going on, everybody? It is Treeb from Treeb Talks here for another episode of Treeb Talks. Now, before we talk about why this de Jaguar defense is going to be improving in 2019, let's address the couple of elephants that are in the room, the obvious, you know, disadvantages in 2019 as opposed to 2017, with the first one being Telvin Smith. Now, I will say Telvin Smith was a huge part of the 2017 defense and was consistently one of the better players the Jags had on their defense. But there were times where he would mess up in pass coverage and things like that. Like, he'll get you 100 tackles, but he'll also let up, like, five touchdowns and 500 yards in a season, you know. So he won't be the best in pass coverage. So that part, I guess, is a bonus because, you know, you won't have that problem anymore because you got guys like Miles Jack, who I think is a better pass coverage linebacker. Guys like Quincy Williams, who if you look at his tape, he's a pretty decent pass coverage linebacker as well. And then you got a guy like Leon Jacobs. These are going to be your three guys, and all three of them are very, very comparable and very similar to Telvin Smith. So if you're a big Telvin Smith fan and you think, oh my god, Telvin Smith not being on this defense is going to completely ruin us as a whole defense, don't think that. Because you got three guys out there that are very, very similar to him. Miles Jack. You know, Miles Jack and Telvin Smith couldn't be any more alike. Sideline to sideline speed. Miles Jack just has the better tackle. I wouldn't even say tackling ability. Better tackling ability and way better pass coverage ability as well. And then Leon Jacobs is a guy that everybody kind of seems to forget about. You know, no one talks about Leon Jacobs, but it's not like Leon Jacobs did anything terrible last year. You know what I mean? Like he played his job and he played his role and he did what he needed to do to be successful. And I don't think that these guys are going to be holding us back. There's a couple of reasons why I think that this Jaguar team is going to be better than the 2017 defense. And I know that the linebackers are not going to be as good as they were back then. But I don't think they're going to be a problem. I don't think that they're going to be so bad to the point where it's going to bring our defense as a whole just completely down into shambles. So don't think that the linebacking position as a whole is going to be a whole reason why 2017 is always going to be better than this season's defense. Because it's not. You know, that's not a fair take. And then, of course, you have the safety debate. You got Ronnie Harrison, who I don't think you guys should doubt for a fucking second. I think you guys should be happy about that. You had Barry Church and Tashawn Gibson who both regressed in 2018. They both did not play good football. A lot of people forget that. Yeah, they're bigger names and yeah, they're a part of that 2017 defense and they played really good. But, you know, losing them is not necessarily a bad thing because both of them are kind of getting up there in age and both of them, you know, their play was hitting downhill and like they're injury prone and everything so you know you got two young fresh safeties playing and I think that alone should get you really really excited and if Todd Wash cannot call so many zone defenses these safeties won't necessarily have to be making a difference you got guys like Jalen Ramsey AJ Boyer and DJ Hayden playing the three corner positions and I think all three of them can go man to man with anybody's number one number two or number three in this whole entire league all these safeties need to do is play the back 
tremendously. Like, just do not let the deep ball happen. These guys are not going to let them get behind. They're not going to let these wide receivers get behind them. So make sure you are over the top in a situation where that happens. And I think both of them possess a lot of different skill sets than Sean Gibson and Barry Church have. I think Ronnie Harrison, he's a licker. He hits hard. He's a hard-hitting safety that has great hands and good football smarts. Jared Wilson, we haven't really seen enough of Jared Wilson to really see what he is as a player. I have made, you know, open statements multiple times talking about how I wish the Jags did a better job at addressing his safety position. And I will continue to say that, but I'm not going to dog the guy too much. I don't think he's going to be holding us back in any way. I think, though, he is going to have a couple of bit, you know, it's going to take him a couple of games to kind of learn the position and come full circle to be, you know, where he needs to be. You know, the first couple of weeks may be rough for him, but I think once the season, you know, ages and gets going, I think he's going to continue to be a very solid piece. So, again, I don't think, I understand why you would say that this defense doesn't have a chance to be better than 2017 because of those two reasons, but I don't think that the players that they have at those positions now are going to necessarily hold him back. And I think the positions that the Jaguars are already strong at have only improved, and that's what we're going to be talking about next. So let us start off with the first thing that improved the most on this Jaguar defense heading into next year, and that is the defensive line. The defensive line as a whole has improved, and, you know, the Jags had off-the-field stuff with Dante Fowler. You know, he was never really a guy that we were relying on to be this absolute stud because, you know, there was just rumors going around that Dante was going to be shipped. You know, it wasn't good. And he ended up getting shipped, and he ended up playing in the Super Bowl. Lucky bastard Dante Fowler is. But the Jags managed to draft Josh Allen. And the seventh overall pick in the 2019 NFL Draft, who is probably the best, if not the second best, defensive prospect in this year's draft. He's raw, he has a lot of ability, and he's playing for a great defensive line and a great defensive line coaching staff. You know, who else would you want to learn from than Calais Campbell and Yannick Ngakwe on how to be elite in this league? How would you like to be blocking Yannick Ngakwe every single down and then on second and first down, you know, when he needs to get a breather, you have Josh Allen coming after you. Like, this rotation is going to be so elite, guys. It's going to be awesome. And this, I think we're going to get more sacks in 2019 than we did in 2017. I think that there's just way too much talent on the field, whether that be the starting four or guys that are rotating in. I also think Dewane Smoot, who's going to be moving to the defensive tackle position because he put on a lot of weight this year, I think he's going to be doing well at the defensive tackle spot, just being a run stuffer right there. And then you got a guy like Taven Bryan, who's going to be coming off the bench playing defensive tackle. So basically, at least your three guys that are going to be rotating in, you got Taven Bryan, first round draft pick, has potential to dominate at the defensive tackle position. Dewane Smoot, who's put on a lot of weight and it looks like he's trying to improve and be a really good defensive tackle next season and then you of course got Josh Allen who's going to be coming in at the defensive end position and dominating doing good good things for this Jaguar defensive line heading in to 2019 this defensive line rotation as a whole is just going to be phenomenal they're going to be getting after the passer and it's going to be helping out this Jaguars defense as well and then you also got McCray as well you know he had a couple of starts last year due to some injuries and he's going to be coming off at a defensive end as well so you know this this whole back four could probably start on another football team like, and these offensive linemen are going to get gassed and they're going to get tired facing these starting four. But here comes these other four that are just as talented and could put it on as well. So this defensive line rotation as a whole should just be the whole reason why this defense is going to be good. Because quarterbacks won't have a lot of time to throw, so that will cause sacks. And also the secondary, it's going to make the QBs make a lot of quick decisions. And that's what we're going to talk about now is the secondary. The secondary has not slowed down in a little bit. We talked about the safeties. And I understand if you are stressed out about the safeties. I mean, I get it. I understand you're not really 100% sure what they can do. But don't let that distract you from the fact that the Jags have two top five corners in the league. And now that we have an even better pass rushing team than we've probably ever had, you know how many picks they're going to get. You know how much they're going to benefit from this pass rushing team squad you know from the backups to the starters quarterbacks are going to have to make these quick decisions and they're going to have to throw to either Jalen or AJ and if they're not going to throw to Jalen or AJ they need to test DJ Hayden and DJ Hayden ain't no slouch either all three of these guys are going to be locking guys out day in day out game in game out and you know this pass rushing 
this combination, man, I can't tell you. I've said this pass rushing group so many times in this video already, and we're like three minutes into this take. But I cannot stress enough how much that this whole group of pass rushers is going to benefit the secondary. Jalen Ramsey should get more than four picks this year. Same with AJ. DJ Hayden as well. All three of these guys are going to benefit tremendously all starting with the front four because these guys, these quarterbacks, they're not going to have a lot of time. Make quick decisions, picked off, gone, six. Athletic play after athletic play. And this Jaguar offense is only going to improve as well. So this offense is going to be putting up points. And this defense is preventing points from going on the board in 2019. And this is going to be the best defense heading into 2019. Mark my words. And it's going to be better than 2017. And we're going to be the best defense in the league next year. Simply because we are the most talented across the board. At me if you want. But this Jaguar defense is going to be elite again in 2019. And that was why the Jaguars 2019 defense will be better than the 2017 defense. What do you guys think? Leave your comments down below. Don't forget, check the links down below as well. You can like me on Facebook, at Troop Talks. Follow me on Twitter, at Troop Talks. Or follow me on Instagram, at Trey Vaughn Pixley. Also, if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. Click the bell icon so you get notified every single time I drop a new video. I drop new content on this channel six days a week. Ain't nobody out working me. Them's just straight facts. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as always, you guys have a great day.